booktube science fiction reads here with my new worlds november week three wrap up and week four tbr this will be a short video because i did not get much read uh well i did but not uh not a lot for week three specifically i ended up busier than i expected and didn't get a lot read but i so i have three things here uh two murray leinster stories one really good one eh, so so the first i read was uh, Pipeline to Pluto, which was written in 1945. So week three for New Worlds November is uh, classic works, so anything pre-65. Uh, and Pipeline to Pluto from 1945 was super short. Um, it was just about kind of the shipping lanes um, between Pluto and Earth uh, and one man's revenge on... Um, some people involved in the shipping uh, industry, I guess. Um, there's really not much to say because it was quite short. Uh, the other story I read uh, was from 1949 called The Lonely Planet. Uh, and this was good. Not as good as Exploration Team, which I read uh, a couple weeks ago and really liked. Uh, but this is uh, uh, his second newest, I guess, even though it's from 49. The other stuff I read is quite old. And I really enjoyed it. It was about... Um, the discovery of a planet that ha is kind of completely covered by some kind of like protoplasm thing or basically this borderline sentient um, plasm jelly creature <laughs> that kind of covers the entire um, continent. I think all continents, actually. Uh, and it's kind of like a quick overview of its evolution and how it became the dominant life form and then really the only life form um and then it comes into contact with humanity and uh that greatly changes its psyche and maybe i'll leave it there i don't want to be too spoilery but it was uh quite good it was it turned into a really good short space opera um I kind of want to try and find novels with the same sort of theme. It was neat. Basically, a sentient planet kind of thing. Um, and, uh, yeah, humanity changing it. It was a good first contact story also, I guess. So the third thing I read, which I just got in the mail. This was a super, super uh, short story. This is volume two. There's two collections by Nesva Press of Chad Oliver's uh, short fiction. And then actually there's a third, I can't remember the name, but um, it's three of his novels. Chad Oliver is not someone I've read before, but he was a anthropologist and I thought it'd be interesting to read a lot of, because I guess a lot of his stories involve anthropology or at least uh, have the knowledge of a real anthropologist. So I thought that'd be interesting. Uh, and yeah, this came in the mail yesterday. It's got some great cover art with these tribal raccoons i seriously hope they feature in a story <laughs> so i thought i'd read through this um from time to time and if i like it i'll get volume one and i already asked somebody to grab me the omnibus of his novels for christmas or my birthday coming up or something so i'll probably get that as well anyway what i read from here was a short story very short called transformer and that was written in 1954 in the magazine of fantasy and science fiction. Super short story about um, a 13 year old has a model train set, like an electric train set in his attic. And some of those little figures, the little tiny, you know, inch tall people he has set up in the town uh, appear to be sentient. It's kind of a story, toy story, really. They. They don't reveal that they're sentient around him. Um, and it's, the story just takes form, takes the form of one of these little toys um, talking about this community of toys growing resentment, I guess, and being treated like the toys they are and how they've come to hate this kid <laughs> who owns them. Uh, and they plot to kill the kid, <laughs> basically. Uh, they plot a murder and um, I won't say anymore because it's a super short story. It was interesting. I'm hoping his stuff actually, a lot of it takes place on, you know, other planets and stuff. I'm sure it does because I read into him a little bit. 
But uh, so what I just picked something short ish and that's what I read. Not at all what I was expecting, but um, it was pretty good. Great idea. Um, and that's it. Now, this video is a little late, so we're already into week four, which is robots and AI. And I already started and finished Neuromancer uh, by William Gibson, which I read. I did not realize it was so long ago. I read this in 2016, which would be just one year into my uh, realization as a young adult that I liked reading science fiction. And I remember at the time I was interested in AI and still am. And so I wanted to read this and I read it and I gave it a three out of five on Goodreads because I liked the concepts, but I could not follow the story. I was so lost. This time around, absolutely loved it. Blew me away, even though I've already read it uh, several years ago. I gave it a four out of five this time because it is still difficult, but like this is the perfect cyberpunk AI story. Really great. Um, so for week two, or sorry, week four, I'm reading and have already read this. This time, however, this read through, I'm going to continue and I'm going to read, um, Count Zero, the second, which I have not read. Um, and I doubt I'll have time, but, uh, I'm going to also read Mona Lisa Overdrive. Either way, I'm going to read, these are the books I'm reading next, but I'm also reading this week a short story, um, Android's Orchid by Damien Lutz, which is a recommendation from Brandy at the Book Eclectic. She uh, rates this story very highly, um, and the majority of uh, his stories. So I'm going to check that out. It's about an AI. But um, other than that, that'll be it, because um, Neuromancer at least took longer than it should have, uh, just because... Uh, it's kind of confusing what's going on at times, and I suspect Count Zero will be similar. So I'll read this, I'll read Brandy's short story, um, and I'll probably be partway into Mona Lisa Overdrive as the week ends. And um, yeah, at that time I'll be back with a, a wrap-up for New World's November. Um, and we'll see how many of the sub-prompts I managed to check off the list. Uh, I don't know if there's any I'll be able to check off the New World's November sub prompts. There's, I think, 13 or 14. But uh, anyways, really enjoyed this the second time around and really looking forward to continue on with uh, William Gibson. So um, as always, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.